Well, my name is David Corbett. I'm an implementation manager. I'm working on the clinical dashboards program. And I've been working on the program since uh, August 2008. Uh, my name is Kofi Boa, implementation manager for clinical dashboards program. And I've been working on the project since uh, January 2009. Okay, so I think in terms of the most critical areas that trusts need to focus on when they're implementing dashboards um, really revolve around uh, clinical leadership. So it's very important to have the clinical drive and, and the leadership to enable the clinical team as a whole to be uh, interested and enthusiastic uh, in order to successfully uh, implement uh, dashboards. And again, as well as um, motivating the clinical team, um, I think if you've got clinical leadership there as well, uh, it really helps to improve the relationship between the clinical teams, um, but also the um, information management uh, and the IT teams. Um, I think also, secondly, it's very, very important to have a very strong project management team in place that's made up of um, clinical leads, IT leads, patient uh, safety leads, um, and also has a very, very senior uh, sponsor on, on board who really can we can go to or the trust can go to when things aren't maybe going so, so right and um, they can help to resolve the issues that, that, that we're having. Um, also, I think in terms of having a very, very strong project manager on place, I, in place, ideally who's full time, will also help in terms of ensuring that individual helps to plan, coordinate uh, and make sure that all the activities are managed uh, sufficiently. Um, and then finally, in terms of the benefit side, well, I think trusts really need to focus on what they want to get out of the dashboard. So they need to consider um, ha how actionable uh, having information available will be, um, what, you know, what they're gonna do with having the information and, and the benefits that are gonna be derived. So rather than it being an afterthought, they really need to think up front, you know, what benefits do they want the information to provide. The key things for trust to look out for when implementing clinical dashboards are to have a clear strategy in terms of the benefits. What are the things they really want to get out of the dashboard? Um, how is the dashboard going to improve the quality of uh, clinical service provided to patients? Um, how are they going to move forward in terms of the development of the dashboards moving forward? Um, it's also important for them to um, think about some of the data sources as well. Um, one of the most powerful thing about the dashboard is that it brings in uh, information sources from, from varying different systems. Um, some examples, for example, Bolton uh, have um, um, kind of cross-organisational um, feeds from their acute. So you've got primary care who can then see um, what's happening to patients out of hours, for example, in some of the acute hospitals. Kind of a very powerful tool in terms of managing the, you know, the patient's care pathway.